So you've never hit a golf ball or even picked up a club. Well, in this series, I'm going to show you the fundamentals to grasp before you ever actually hit a ball, because there's a lot to learn. So the first thing to learn is grip. And the first thing to note is why grip is so important. Well, quite easily, it is the only connection we have between us and hitting the golf ball and the club. So, how do we hold our golf club, or as some of you annoyingly call it, a golf bat? Well, there's three main methods to doing so. You've got what's called the interlocking grip, the overlapping grip, and the baseball bat. So, I know I've jumped through those really quickly with interlocking baseball bat and overlap. So how does it look? Well, our left hand, if you're a right-handed golfer, will go on the top of the club. Our right hand, goes below. If you hold it like a baseball bat, so your fingers are touching behind the club, but there's nothing wrapped around them or sitting on top, they're just touching but independent of each other. If you take your index finger on your left hand, take your pinky of your right hand, slide your hands together, and you should be able to close. That is your interlocking grip, and you will find once You've done it a couple of times, that it's a rather comfortable way of holding the club. Your overlapping is, again, we put two hands in the club, slide them down so our fingers are touching. You take your pinky and you put it over the crease between your index finger and your middle finger on the left hand. That's an overlapping grip. Again, very commonly used. Everything works. And lastly, baseball bat. We take two hands, we put them on the club, we slide our hands together, and that's it. The hands don't work together as such, but it's an easy way for most beginners to pick up the club and start holding it. Again, we want to do things correctly. We want to start you off in the best way we can. So my recommendation is the interlock or overlap. Now, the, one of the key things to note about this grip is all of them have their place. They can all work. There's no such thing as perfect. What I want you to do is find what works best for you. My recommendation is everyone starts with the interlocking grip. It is the most popular grip that we have, and it's currently the most widely used within the golf community. So how do we find it? Really, really simply, we can actually use our body to find how you grip the club. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our club to face away from you, next to your shoe. You're gonna put your fingers on it, and you're just gonna pick it up. The club ideally will sit in your fingers, it won't sit in your palm. Again, I will show this in more detail, but we want to make sure that the club sits nicely in our fingers, and then we put our second hand on. This is the first stage for any beginner to playing good golf, is getting your grip correct. So what does it look like when we get it wrong? Well, if the grip is really in the palm of the hand, and if I grab it, the club is gonna sit very weird. But how this affects us is when we start building our swing, the club is gonna go all out of position and it's gonna force your body to react by going into different positions. So, a bad version of the grip would be here, a good version would be there. If you can stand there and hold the club, kinda of like a monkey grip as some people call it, in that hand, just rest the hand on top. You're gonna to be in a great position for when you start. Your hand size is gonna be different from person to person. The clubs you use will be different. The grips will be different. So these grips might look a little bit different depending on your body composition, what clubs you use, and which grip you prefer. Which brings me on to the last thing. There's three terminologies you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear you have a strong grip, a neutral grip or a weak grip. Do not get caught up in thinking one grip is perfect. You can play golf with a very strong grip. I know this because I play golf with a very strong grip and it works just fine for me. You can play golf with a very weak grip and you can play with a neutral grip. There's no such thing as perfect. It's whatever grip is gonna feel the most comfortable to you once we get used to it bearing that in mind, because one of the things when you first 
hold a club, it's going to feel alien. It's going to feel horrible, right? So I want you to go away and practice it and find which grip you feel works best for you. Again, my advice is you stick with the interlocking because once you get used to it, it is the most popular grip that everything can work. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.